Today I have come to a picnic. I can run on the beach, but I cannot walk on water. Why is this so? Because sand and water are different matters. Welcome to the lesson on states of matter. On completion of this lesson, we will be able to define the word matter, list and distinguish the properties of solids, liquids and gases. List the properties of the particles of matter. Explain the arrangement of particles in solids, liquids and gases. Is sand a matter? Is water a matter? Is air inside the balloon a matter? Yes, sand, water and air inside the balloon all are matter. Matter around us exists in three states solid, liquid and gas. What is matter made up of? Matter is made up of small particles. Matter is any substance that has mass and occupies space. Is this grain of sand a particle that you are talking about? No. This grain of sand can be further broken into particles that are not visible to our naked eyes. These particles are present in all states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. Particles of matter have space between them. They are always in a state of random motion. Hence, they possess kinetic energy and they attract each other. A pen a book, a ring, wooden table and chair. These are all examples of solids. We can observe that all these have a definite shape, distinct boundaries and fixed volumes. They cannot be compressed. Solids may break under force, but it is difficult to change their shape, so they are rigid. When particles are bound together firmly, as you can see here, they form solids. In solids, these particles cannot move about freely and simply vibrate because their kinetic energy is low and do not allow them to break away from their mutual force of attraction. Therefore, solids have definite shapes and volumes. For this reason, they do not flow or diffuse. We observe that liquids have no fixed shape but have a fixed volume. They take up the shape of the container in which they are kept. Particles in liquids have kinetic energy more than the solids. They can flow freely and are random throughout the liquid. They are not bound to any fixed position. However, they do not have enough kinetic energy to break out of the boundary of the liquid mass. That explains why liquid does not have a definite shape and why it diffuses freely. They take the shape of the container and have definite volume. Compared to solids, they have more spaces between them, but they cannot be compressed. In gases, the particles are not packed at all because their kinetic energy is high enough to allow them to break from any boundary. Hence, the particles move about randomly at high speed. They are free to move about in rapid motions. Hence, this explains why they do not have definite shapes and volumes. Particles moving in free space collide with each other and also hit the walls of the container. Since the spaces between them are high, gases show the property of diffusing very fast into other gases. As the spaces between the particles are high in a gas, they are highly compressible. Now I understand. Let me summarize the properties of solids, liquids and gases. Solids Solids have definite shapes and volumes. They cannot be compressed except porous solids. Particles do not flow, diffuse slowly. High force of attraction between particles. 
very less intermolecular space between them liquids liquids take the shape of the container and have definite volume cannot be compressed particles flow diffuse fast less force of attraction between particles more intermolecular space gases gases have no definite shape and volume can be compressed easily particles flow easily diffuse very fast very less force of attraction between particles large intermolecular space at the end of this lesson you are able to define the word matter list and distinguish the properties of solids liquids and gases list the properties of the particles of matter explain the arrangement of particles in solids liquids and gases visit atec academy on www.atecedu.com or contact on 9041152777